Hey there, Ryan Doran, just following up on my service learning project video. So we were posed with two questions for this reflection. The first one was, what did you learn about in health assessment that contributed to your service learning project? Um, well, one of the things we talked about in our, our health assessment course was due to the ongoing pandemic. Um, you know, we had to really be focused on um, PPE, donning and doffing. Um, we discussed some of the symptoms that people will prevent, present with when they're sick, you know, cough, sore throat, fever, chills. Um, and I, I had the flu shot for adults, so you really need to be able to uh, assess individuals when they come in. A lot of times they're just gonna say, oh, I don't feel well, um, I have chills or whatnot. Uh, well, that can be caused by a lot of things. Uh, you need to ask multiple questions just to determine, you know, the extent of the symptoms, how long they've had them. You know, if they've been going on a month, more than likely it's not the flu. Um, but if that came on suddenly, uh, you know, it's an acute illness, then it could potentially be the flu, especially when you have the fever, chills, night sweats, body aches. So health assessment taught us to look for those cues and to ask probing questions. Specifically to this semester with COVID-19 going on, you know, we've had to become more aware of our surroundings. Um, and now that we are heading into flu season, we've begun to discuss that in class about what that could mean moving forward with the pandemic, how the healthcare system could be burdened even more. Um, and the symptoms are so similar between the flu and COVID-19 that, you know, you really have to have great assessment skills to determine um, you know, do these people need to be tested for COVID? They need to be tested for the flu. Are we going to test for both of them? Uh, the other question we were posed was, in what way did your service learning project contribute positively to the community? Uh, hopefully in the next few days, these videos will start making it out into the public, which, you know, they were intended for. Um, and mine specifically, I think, along with the mask wearing, is going to be a really important one. Uh, a lot of people are getting complacent. You know, COVID's been going on in earnest since March now, I believe, and people are getting fatigued. But, you know, it, it's the time of year when we expect the flu to come around, but everybody's burned out with the masking, and I don't think people are washing their hands as much and cleaning their workstations or their homes, being as diligent about that as they were. Um, and I think my video is going to help reinforce that these two could be, you know, have a synergistic effect this fall and winter and that we really need to refocus on that and the best way to help prevent the flu is going to be taking a flu shot um, and hopefully the little video that i included showing you know the gentleman that was inoculated in the emergency department just how quick and painless it was you can see from the video that he didn't even flinch um, and i spoke with him he didn't want to talk too much on camera but i spoke to him and he you know he doesn't like taking shots nobody does i'm not scared of needles but i i, I don't like them i i don't want you sticking a foreign object in my body if you don't have to um but i mean the shot was done in under 30 seconds i mean and that even included his arm being cleaned with the alcohol swab and her asking him his name and date of birth so Hopefully that's going to alleviate some fears and concerns and hopefully some of the information I presented about the statistics about reducing hospital stays or even the need to even be hospitalized um, and how it's important that we ourselves are vaccinated because, you know, if I have a wife that's pregnant, you know, it could offer her an unborn child protection even after the child is born. Um, so things like that, you know, that the general public just doesn't consider on a regular basis, I, I think that's going to be the most beneficial aspect for my video. Thank you.